Welcome to Games and Names. Tonight, we dive into the world of Formula One racing. Formula One, or F1, is the pinnacle of motorsport, blending technology and skill. Since 1950, F1 has captivated fans worldwide with its speed and competition. The rules of F1 are strict, governing car design and race procedures to ensure fairness. Legendary drivers like Fangio, Senna, Schumacher, and Hamilton have left their mark on the sport with their talent and determination. From the thrill of the races to the legacy of champions, Formula One continues to push the boundaries of speed and innovation. Join us as we explore the fascinating world of F1 racing. Formula One, or F1, is the premier motorsport series with a history dating back to the 1950s. Governed by the FIA, F1 has strict rules covering technical and sporting aspects. The Drivers World Championship is awarded to the driver with the most points in a season, while the Constructors Championship goes to the team with the highest combined points. Iconic drivers like Senna, Schumacher, and Hamilton have left a lasting impact on the sport. F1 is known for its legendary circuits, intense rivalries, and cutting-edge technology that pushes performance limits. Formula One F1, is the highest class of single-seater auto racing sanctioned. Known for its high speeds, cutting-edge technology, an elite global competition, F1 stands as one of the world's most prestigious and well-known motorsport series. The spectacle of F1 racing draws millions of fans worldwide, with races on diverse circuits that include street and purpose-built tracks. Its mix of precision engineering, driver skill, and team strategy creates a unique sport that consistently pushes the boundaries of innovation and athleticism. Formula One has its roots in European Grand Prix motor racing, which dates back to the 1920s and 1930s. However, the modern era of F1 began after World War II. The first official One World Championship race was held at Silverstone in the United Kingdom on May 13, 1950. Italian driver Giuseppe Farina, driver Alfa Romeo, won the inaugural championship. Throughout the 1950s, F1 was dominated by Alfa Romeo, Ferrari, and Mercedes-Benz. The period was marked by technical innovation and danger, with little emphasis on safety standards. In 1955, a catastrophic accident at the Le Mans 24-hour race led to the deaths of over 80 spectators, prompting F1 to begin rethinking its approach to safety. The 1960s saw further technical advancements in F1, particularly the introduction of rear-engine cars that offered better balance and handling. British teams, including Lotus, Brabham, and McLaren, became highly successful. During this time, legendary drivers such as Jackie Stewart and Jim Clark made their mark on the sport. The 1970s was a period of major transformation in F1. Aerodynamics began to play a crucial role in car design, with engineers experimenting with wings and downforce to improve speed and stability. This decade also saw a growing emphasis on safety, spurred by multiple fatal accidents. FIA regulations introduced stricter safety protocols, better helmet technology, fireproof clothing, and more robust car construction. During the 1980s, F1's popularity surged globally, with television broadcasts reaching new audiences. The sport saw dominant performances from teams like McLaren and Williams, while drivers like Ayrton Senna, Alain Prost and Nigel Mansell became household names. Technological innovations included the introduction of turbocharged engines, which pushed the power of F1 cars to new heights. By the 1990s, electronic aids such as active suspension, traction control, and semi-automatic gearboxes had become standard. 
The rise of superstar drivers, including Michael Schumacher, helped bring F1 to mainstream prominence. Schumacher, with his unprecedented dominance, won seven world championships, including five consecutive titles with Ferrari from 2000 to 2004. The 2000s saw F1 evolving in response to both competition and environmental concerns. F1 cars are built with lightweight materials such as carbon fiber to minimize weight while maintaining strength. Aerodynamics is a critical aspect, with teams focusing on downforce to keep the car stable at high speeds. Elements like front and rear wings, diffusers, and barge boards manipulate airflow to enhance performance. NCE 2014, F1 has used 1.6-liter V6 turbocharged hybrid engines, which combine traditional internal combustion with energy recovery systems. This hybrid setup not only increases power but also makes the sport more environmentally sustainable. The power unit consists of six components. Internal Combustion Engine, ICE. Motor Generator Unikinetic, MGUK, recovers energy from braking. Motor Generator Unit Heat, MGUH, recovers energy from exhaust gases. Energy Store, Battery. Turbocharger. Control Electronics. F1 races take place on a mix of traditional circuits and street circuits that wind through city streets. Each type of track presents its own challenges in terms of speed, braking, and maneuverability. Famous Circuits Monza, Italy known as the Temple of Speed, Monza is one of the oldest F1 circuits, famous for its long straights and high-speed corners. Monaco, the narrow, twisty streets of Monaco provide little room for error, making this track a true test of driver skill. The Monaco Grand Prix is one of the most prestigious events on the F1 calendar. Silverstone, UK The birthplace of F1, Silverstone features a combination of fast straights and technical corners, offering great opportunities for overtaking. Suzuka, Japan This unique figure 8 circuit is beloved for its challenging layout, which tests both car balance and driver precision. Spa Francochamps, Belgium known for its elevation changes and the famous Eau Rouge Corner, Spa is one of the longest and most exciting tracks in F1. Michael Schumacher, born on January 3, 1969, in Germany, is a legendary figure in Formula One. He debuted in 1991 with Jordan before moving to Benetton, where he won two world championships in 1994 and 1995. Schumacher then joined Ferrari in 2001 five consecutive titles from 2000 to 2004, solidifying his status as one of the greatest drivers ever. His aggressive driving style and unmatched skill set him apart. Despite some controversies, his dedication and talent inspired many. A skiing accident in 2013 left him in a coma, and updates on his health have been limited. Schumacher's legacy as a seven-time world champion remains intact, with fans worldwide still celebrating his achievements. Michael Schumacher is widely regarded as one of the greatest drivers in the history of Formula 1, F1, and arguably the most successful with a record of seven world championships. Born in Germany, Schumacher's career spanned over two decades, during which he set numerous records that still stand as benchmarks for excellence in the sport. His remarkable ability to combine technical skill, strategic intelligence, and unrelenting competitiveness made him a dominant force in F1, defining an era and inspiring generations of drivers. From his early karting days to his breakthrough with Benetton and his historic tenure at Ferrari, Schumacher's career is full of iconic moments that reshaped F1. His extraordinary focus, relentless work ethic, and detailed knowledge of his cars and the circuits made him a standout champion. Michael Schumacher was born on January 3, 1969, in Hirth Hermelheim, West Germany. He grew up in a modest family, where his father, Rolf Schumacher, managed a local karting track, which played a significant role in nurturing Michael's passion for racing. At the age of four, Schumacher's father built him a homemade kart, which marked the beginning of his journey toward motor racing greatness. 
He quickly demonstrated exceptional talent, winning his first karting championship at the age of six. Schumacher progressed through the karting ranks and soon moved on to car racing. In 1987, he won the German and European karting championships, a crucial step in attracting the attention of racing teams. He transitioned into car racing, competing in the Formula Ford and Formula Koenig championships. His talent and determination earned him a spot in the Formula 3 championship in 1989, where he finished as runner-up in 1990, further proving his credentials as a rising star in the world of motorsport. Schumacher's entry into Formula One came in 1991 when he made his debut for Jordan at the Belgian Grand Prix, thanks to the recommendation of Mercedes, with whom Schumacher was already associated. He impressed everyone with his performance during qualifying, despite retiring early in the race due to clutch issues. His exceptional performance caught the eye of Benetton's team manager, Flavio Briatore, who quickly signed Schumacher for the remainder of the 1991 season. Over the next few seasons with Benetton, Schumacher's talent became increasingly apparent. In 1992, he secured his first F1 victory at the Belgian Grand Prix, a track that would become one of his favorites. He finished the 1992 season third in the Drivers' Championship, an impressive result considering his relative inexperience. In 1993, Schumacher continued to improve, finishing fourth in the Drivers' Championship, further demonstrating his potential. 2000 World Championship, Schumacher's victory in 2000 was particularly emotional, as it marked Ferrari's return to championship winning form after more than two decades. He secured the title by winning nine races, including a dramatic victory at the Japanese Grand Prix that clinched the championship. 2001 World Championship, Schumacher continued his dominance in 2001, winning nine races once again and securing his fourth world championship. He broke several records along the way, including Alain Prost's record for most career wins. 2002 World Championship, the 2002 season was one of the most dominant in F1 history. Schumacher won 11 races and finished on the podium in every single race of the season. He clinched the title with six races remaining, the earliest championship victory in F1 history. 2003 World Championship, the 2003 season was more competitive, but Schumacher still managed to win his sixth World Championship, breaking Juan Manuel Fangio's long-standing record of five titles. Schumacher managed only one win in 2005, at the controversial United States Grand Prix, where only six cars participated due to safety concerns with Michelin tires. In 2006, Schumacher bounced back with a strong performance, winning seven races and challenging Fernando Alonso for the championship. The title fight went down to the wire, but Schumacher ultimately lost out to Alonso. At the end of the 2006 season, Schumacher announced his retirement from F1, marking the end of an era. He left the sport with a legacy of records that seemed unbreakable at the time, including seven world championships and 91 career wins. Schumacher's most notable achievement during this period was securing the fastest qualifying lap at the 2012 Monaco Grand Prix, though a grid penalty meant he did not start from pole position. Despite his lack of success, Schumacher's return was a testament to his passion for the sport and his enduring love for competition. Schumacher retired from F1 for the second and final time at the end of the 2012 season, leaving behind a legacy that would define him as Lewis Hamilton, born on January 7, 1985, in Stevenage, England, is a Formula One icon known for his exceptional success. His racing career began in karting, where his talent shone through. Debuting in F1 with McLaren in 2007, Hamilton quickly made a name for himself with podium finishes. In 2008, he won his first world championship, becoming the youngest champion at the time. His move to Mercedes in 2013 solidified his dominance, leading to multiple championship victories. Beyond racing, Hamilton is an advocate for diversity and social issues, using his platform for positive change. His journey exemplifies talent, determination, and a commitment to excellence, making him a true legend in the world of motorsport.
Lewis Hamilton is a name synonymous with Formula One, F1, success, and he is widely regarded as one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport. Known for his exceptional skill on the racetrack, his seven world championships have cemented his place in the upper echelons of motorsport history, tying him with Michael Schumacher for the most championships. Hamilton's journey from a young karting prodigy to an international racing icon has been filled with record-breaking accomplishments, perseverance, and a pioneering influence both on and off the track. Lewis Carl Davidson Hamilton was born on January 7, 1985, in Stevenage, Hertfordshire, England. From a young age, Hamilton showed an extraordinary talent for racing. His father, Anthony Hamilton, recognized his potential early on and worked multiple jobs to support his son's burgeoning career. Anthony famously gave Lewis his first remote control car when he was six years old, and by the age of eight, Lewis was racing go-karts. His father's unrelenting support and sacrifice became one of the defining stories of Hamilton's early life. Hamilton quickly rose through the ranks of karting, winning numerous local and national championships. His big break came in 1998 when, at the age of 13, he was signed to McLaren's Young Driver Program, a highly prestigious opportunity that came with support and sponsorship from McLaren and Mercedes-Benz. Hamilton's association with McLaren was a major stepping stone that would ultimately lead to his F1 debut less than a decade later. Hamilton dominated the junior racing series, including Formula Renault, Formula 3, and GP2, now Formula 2. In 2006, he won the GP2 championship, which immediately caught the attention of McLaren. In 2007, at the age of 22, Hamilton made his Formula 1 debut with McLaren, joining two-time world champion Fernando Alonso as a teammate. Lewis Hamilton's debut season in 2007 was one of the most remarkable rookie campaigns in the history of F1. He burst onto the scene with a combination of fearlessness, raw speed, and racecraft that made him an immediate contender for the championship. In his very first race, the Australian Grand Prix, Hamilton finished third, becoming the first driver since 1996 to finish on the podium in their debut race. Over the course of the 2007 season, Hamilton consistently challenged his teammate, Fernando Alonso, and Kimi Raikkonen for race victories and the championship. He won his first race at the Canadian Grand Prix, followed by a win at the US Grand Prix. By mid-season, Hamilton led the championship standings, and he continued to set new records, including becoming the first black driver to win a Formula One race. However, the 2007 season ended in controversy and heartbreak for Hamilton. After a series of team disputes and tensions between Alonso and McLaren, Hamilton's championship hopes unraveled in the final two races. Hamilton and Rosberg traded wins throughout the 2014 season, with both drivers consistently finishing at the front. The championship came down to the final race in Abu Dhabi, where Hamilton secured his second world championship with a victory, while Rosberg struggled with mechanical issues. Hamilton won 11 races that season, showcasing his dominance and ability to perform under pressure. In 2015, Hamilton continued his dominance, winning 10 races and securing his third world championship. He clinched the title with three races to spare, becoming the first British driver to win back-to-back -back championships. The 2015 season solidified Hamilton's place among the sport's all-time greats, as he equaled his hero Ayrton Senna's tally of three championships. The 2016 season was one of the most intense in recent F1 history, with the hamilton rosberg rivalry reaching its peak. The two Mercedes drivers engaged in a season-long battle for the championship, with tensions running high both on and off the track. Despite winning more races than Rosberg, Hamilton was hampered by mechanical failures and poor starts, which allowed Rosberg to build a lead in the championship. With Rosberg's departure, Mercedes brought in Valtteri Bottas as Hamilton's new teammate. The 2017 season saw the return of Ferrari as a genuine title contender, with Sebastian Vettel challenging Hamilton for the championship. However, Hamilton's consistency, racecraft, and superior performance in the second half of the season allowed him to win his fourth world championship. Max Verstappen, the Dutch racing prodigy, 
burst onto the Formula One scene in 2015 at just 17 years old with Toro Rosso. He quickly made a name for himself with his aggressive driving style and fearlessness on the track Verstappen became the youngest race winner in F1 history at the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix and has since continued to achieve multiple victories and podium finishes. In 2021, he clinched his first world championship title in a thrilling season, solidifying his place among the top drivers in the sport. Verstappen's success is a testament to his talent and determination, inspiring aspiring racers worldwide. Max Verstappen, born on September 30, 1997, in Hasselt, Belgium, has emerged as one of the most dominant and talented drivers in Formula One, F1. Known for his aggressive driving style, raw talent, and determination, Verstappen has become one of the most prominent figures in motorsport. As of 2023, he is a three-time F1 world champion and has played a significant role in Red Bull Racing's return to the top of the F1 hierarchy. Verstappen's meteoric rise to the pinnacle of the sport is a testament to his remarkable abilities and tenacity, setting numerous records and redefining what it means to be a champion in the modern era. Max Verstappen was born into a racing family, with his father, Joss Verstappen, a former F1 driver, and his mother, Sophie Kumpen, a successful karting champion. Racing was in his blood from a young age, and his parents' involvement in motorsport meant that Max grew up immersed in the world of racing. Max began karting at the age of four, and it was quickly apparent that he had inherited the same racing instincts and passion for speed that defined his parents' careers. Verstappen's karting career was filled with success. By the age of seven, he had already won his first championship, and as he grew older, he dominated the karting circuits in Europe. He won numerous national and international championships, including the European and World KZ karting titles in 2013. His performances in karting caught the attention of motorsport scouts, setting the stage for his transition to single-seaters and, eventually, Formula One. In 2014, at just 16 years old, Verstappen made the leap to single-seaters, competing in the European Formula 3 championship with Van Amersfoort Racing. Despite being a rookie, Verstappen's performances were nothing short of spectacular. He won 10 races during the season, finishing third overall in the championship. His aggressive driving style, fearless overtaking, and remarkable speed made him one of the hottest prospects in motorsport. It wasn't long before F1 teams took notice. Verstappen was offered a contract by Red Bull Racing to join their junior driver program. Just a year after racing in Formula 3, Verstappen was promoted to the pinnacle of motorsport, Formula 1, making him the youngest driver in the history of the sport. Max Verstappen made his Formula 1 debut in 2015 with Scuderia Toro Rosso, Red Bull Racing's sister team, at the age of 17. His debut season was groundbreaking, as he became the youngest driver ever to compete in an F1 race, at the Australian Grand Prix, and the youngest to score points, with a 7th place finish at the Malaysian Grand Prix. His fearless and audacious overtaking moves quickly earned him a reputation as one of the most exciting talents in the sport. Throughout the 2015 season, Verstappen displayed immense potential, often outperforming his more experienced teammate, Carlos Sainz Jr. his ability to extract maximum performance from the car, even in difficult conditions, showed that he was more than just a teenage sensation, he was a future star in the making, over the next few years, Verstappen's career continued to progress, and he became Red Bull Racing's focal point for future success. However, Red Bull was still playing catch-up to Mercedes, who dominated the turbo-hybrid era from 2014 onward. Despite this, Verstappen's individual performances were spectacular, and he continued to add to his tally of race wins. The 2021 season was one of the most thrilling and dramatic in the history of Formula One. For the first time in the turbo-hybrid era, Red Bull and Verstappen mounted a serious challenge to Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton. The season-long battle between Verstappen and Hamilton captivated fans worldwide, 
with the two drivers going head-to-head -head in a series of intense and controversial races, Verstappen demonstrated remarkable consistency and speed throughout the season, winning 10 races, including key victories at Monaco, Austria, the Netherlands, and the United States. His aggressive driving style often put him in direct confrontation with Hamilton, leading to several high-profile incidents, including collisions at the British Grand Prix and the Italian Grand Prix. In 2023, Verstappen and Red Bull continued their domination of Formula One. The season began with Verstappen winning several races and quickly building a commanding lead in the championship standings. His consistency and dominance throughout the year were reminiscent of the great F1 champions of the past, and by the midpoint of the season, it was clear that no other driver or team could challenge him for the title. Verstappen secured his third consecutive world championship in 2023, solidifying his place as one of the most successful drivers in the history of the sport. His ability to deliver under pressure, combined with Red Bull's technical excellence, made them an unbeatable combination. Verstappen's record-breaking season saw him surpass 50 career victories. Thank you for watching Games and Names. We appreciate your support. Your feedback is important, so share your thoughts for future episodes. Stay tuned for more fun and engaging content. Have a wonderful night and see you next time on Games and Names.